Hey everybody, uh, thanks for joining me in the garage. Today's uh, project, and uh, it's definitely one of those, a project, is this uh, barn find um, craftsman. Looks like a uh, 11 horse, 30 inch cut, uh, two stage snow blower. It uh, doesn't look like it's in very decent shape, but I, I got it for pretty cheap off of my scrap guy. $25 so even if uh, I can't get this thing running I'll be able to use uh, some at least $25 worth of parts off of this thing anyways so um, all I know is he found it in a barn had been sitting for a year or two so first thing we're gonna do is try and see if we can get it to start and uh, we're gonna check see if there's any oil in there it does look like there's some oil it's not full and it could use an oil change but there is some at least uh, next I'll see if there's any fuel a little bit of fuel that's probably not a good thing <clears throat> so it does have electric start which is great for these big things uh, big snow blowers a little harder to pull over so I'm gonna see if the electric start works so let's just go ahead and uh, see if we can get this thing fired up probably about half throttle get the choke on there keys in a couple shots of the primer which I don't hear anything Usually you can hear it uh, swishing some fuel in the carburetor and uh, this one actually has a drain plug so let's see and I should be getting fuel out of there if there was any fuel inside this drain bolt or this uh, carb bowl fuel should be coming out so, so for some reason there's fuel in the tank, but no fuel in the bowl of the carburetor. So that'll be our first problem, obviously. And that would be the reason why when I pushed on this primer, I'm not hearing any fuel or any air pushing in the, to the, the fuel in the carburetor. So it's definitely not going to start. There's no fuel in the carb, but let's see if the electric start works anyways. So that would be a big bonus if we could get that to work. All right, perfect. Um, so the electric start works. I'm gonna try and pull it over and see how much compression it has. Definitely has some compression. So that's good. So we're gonna try and work on the fuel part first. And uh, then we're going to work on seeing if there's any spark. Well, we could probably do them both at the same time. What I'm going to do is take off this spark plug boot, take out this spark plug, and I'm going to put some uh, either fuel or starter fluid right in the cylinder. And we'll put the spark plug back on, and I'll also hook up a spark tester as well. And we'll do a twofer. All right, so I have a uh, 13 sixteenths uh, socket here. And uh, spark plug doesn't look too bad. Maybe a little bit rich on the mixture. It's a little sooty. I'm just going to spray some uh, quick start in here. Go ahead and hook up my spark plug test spark tester. And we're gonna be watching right here for a nice orange glow. Alright, let's see what we get. Okay. I don't know if you could see it on the video. Uh, we did get some spark for sure, and obviously that's 
we could tell that because uh, a the orange glow and B it actually did start and run on the the uh, starter fuel or the quick start fuel so that's good so uh, that first thing we gotta look at take care of is the uh, is the carburetor and why is there no fuel coming out of that bowl well we're gonna focus now on the carb area right here so what we need to do is uh, there's a, a bolt a little bolt here I think it's a 5 16 and usually there's one on the side here as well right there so those two 5 16 and then there's two Phillips head screws here and then usually you just have to take off this choke handle uh, this choke knob usually just pulls off or you get a flathead screwdriver yeah so I'll have to get a screwdriver flathead in there and, and pry that off and then we'll have access to the carburetor there all right so I got the 5 16 off here the 5 16 off here I got the two uh, Phillips screws out here Last thing I need to do is really just get this, get this choke knob off. All right, and then there is going to be a uh, grounding wire that we're going to have to disconnect. Uh, I'll just show you where that is. It's right underneath here. All right, so there are two little grounding wires. One that comes up. from the uh, ignition coil and then one that goes to the key, to the key. so we're going to disconnect this bottom one right there and we should be able to pull this guy right out all right so so here's the carb here's a definite uh, next problem is this line for the primer wouldn't have worked anyways because it's broken so might as well just break that right off and we'll have to see if there's a, enough slack I think there's enough slack we'll just be able to reconnect to that because the, the line itself doesn't look too bad except this at the connection point there all right so next thing we're going to do is uh, uh, I, I'm probably I'm guaranteed pretty much going to have to take this carburetor off but uh, I just want to see. Um, hopefully, the carburetor is salvageable. Uh, okay, there's another problem. This throttle valve is oh, it's all sticky. Again, and there's a spring that's supposed to spring load this back into a certain position when we move it. So this is just, you know, years of sitting. Hopefully we can lubricate all this stuff up and uh, get it back into a functioning condition again. All right. Wonder if I should check that bowl. Uh, there's got to be an issue with the float or uh, the needle and seat if there's no fuel coming out of the bottom of this thing when I push this. There's no fuel being allowed into the carburetor and that's controlled by the float and the needle and seat. So uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and take the carb right off the machine. Now you can try and get the... Uh, on either side here right right here there's a nut and a bolt but I might just try and take the entire intake manifold off here and then take the whole thing off as a unit and then I can disconnect these afterwards I'm gonna probably put this in my ultrasonic cleaner to try and clean it up alright guys so uh, this is a, is a T T30 torques and I loosened them off already a little bit all right so I'm gonna try and gingerly 
knock this intake off. There. There's going to be a gasket there that I don't want to wreck. Alright, so that's that. Next thing I'm going to do is... There are a couple of different holes on this um, throttle linkage here. So I'm just scribing a sort of a line to indicate which hole that linkage is attached to. So when I go to put it back together, it's going to be back together properly. The next thing is, is there's a fuel line that has to come off. And then we have this uh, linkage, throttle linkage as well that has to come off. All right, so on the other side of the machine here, I got a fuel line uh, pliers or clamp. So I'll try and block off that fuel as best I can. Get a pair of pliers. See if I get this clamp off there without snapping it. Good. here now yep yeah. okay and then to get this guy off it's usually a z-bend there we go and now we got it we got it off now what I like to do is just to confirm that we got an issue with the carburetor side I like to see some fuel coming out of that that fuel line. There, the fuel line pliers are off, and there's absolutely zero fuel coming out of there. Huh. All right. Well, we got another issue then somewhere and where this fuel line is because that should be pouring fuel out of it right now so we're gonna have to address that as well maybe it's a new fuel line or something but just in case it decides it wants to start flowing I'm gonna put those pliers back on and we're gonna work on the carburetor anyways uh, because this thing's been sitting a long time and it needs definitely needs some love all right guys so i got you up on the bench here first thing i'm gonna do is take this little bracket off two quarter inch uh, next thing is we're going to separate the intake from the carb itself. So this is just a Phillips on the screw with a 7 16 nut on the end. In this case, I didn't, the nut's not turning, so I can take those right off. I might have to hold this nut if it starts to turn. I can even hold it with my hand. Now again, there's going to be a uh, gasket that I hope doesn't rip in between the intake and the carb. So there's the gasket. Alright, so that's that. Next thing we do is uh, I'm going to pull off this uh, float bowl. See what we got inside there. That's a half inch. Well, this is a bolt, but it's also this serves as the main jet for the carburetor. A lot of times, these main jets are plugged up. There's a hole right at the base of this bolt right where my thumb is right here where 
there is a whole a passageway and it's actually clean I can see you straight through there which is very surprising now there's also a hole right here in the top of this that sometimes clogs up as well and you can clean that a couple different ways a couple different tools here's a bread tie and you can stick that bread tie in and as you can see it actually goes in if it was clogged up it wouldn't even go in and I can see it coming up through the the hole here at the bottom that goes straight through onto the other side there's also another little hole right here which is also clear as well so I don't know if someone else has been in here trying to fix this thing but that is really promising actually hopefully and here is where the tell-all is going to be oh <laughs> look at the garbage and junk that is in this bottom of this float bowl it is just caked with some sort of dirt and rust residue look at all the junk coming out of here okay now uh, this float is pretty much stuck Ugh. wow and you guys probably aren't going to be able to see that now attached to that f float it right here there is a needle valve which you can see is just starting to move up there now Ugh, there we go that was completely jammed in there so that's just been stuck in there so I suspect complete carb rebuild with a new needle and seat is going to be definitely in order. Alright, so we're going to try and take this. There's a float pole gasket. That's going to need to be replaced. That's pretty hard, crusty. I'm going to try and get, get this float off. Now there's a pin that looks like it's all rusty. So this should be fun. I'm trying to get this pin out take this float off. See if I can slide it out from the one side. I don't know if this carburetor is even going to be salvageable to be honest, but we're going to try. Alright, so I got you set up in a vise here. I sprayed this with some PB blaster and now I'm just going to use like a, it's a nail set basically. See if I can punch this through, get it to move at all. All right, guys, a little OCD, so I'm still working on this thing, trying to get it out. I got it almost all the way out on the coming out through this side, just a little bit more. See if I can grab this as hard as I can and. Oh, oh, success, finally, whew. All right, so the pin's out. Moment of truth. There's no fuel in there, but there's not been fuel in it probably for a while. The needle itself actually doesn't look too too bad I do see a bit of a ring as bad as this is I probably will just replace this because I need a new uh, bowl gasket anyways I'm gonna have to take out the uh, seat as well so I got a little tool for that uh, to knock off Tecumseh tool you just stick it in there you could get a crochet needle as well just pull the seat out 
and uh, it again doesn't visually doesn't look too bad but this thing's all crusty so I'm gonna replace that uh, one other thing I'm gonna take out here is uh, this idle jet idle screw and uh, before I throw it in my ultrasonic cleaner So it just screws in all the way. It's not adjustable, but again, there is a small hole that goes all the way through. That looks very clean. There's a, a really tiny hole in the top of that that also sometimes gets clogged. So what I do for that that tip I got from Donnie Boy is uh, this is a uh, just one basically strand off of this wire brush that I put into a matchstick and it's very tiny and you can stick that in the end of that and just make sure that it's not clogged up and that one looks actually in okay shape 